So, Drew, I'm going to move to a little bit of a drush here. Well, mm -hmm. your drush, really. The story of why you are here today. Your day job, you are a, a director of pastoral care, Jewish life at a senior living facility. But you are also the producer now of over 110 episodes of The Jewish Drinking Show. And when mm -hmm. I was looking to launch this podcast, uh, which has rather fewer episodes than you have under your belt, uh, a little newer to this game. Uh, everybody said, you've got to talk to Drew. If you want to do a podcast about things that are Jewish and drinking, go to Drew. <laughs> awesome. And so, <laughs> so what's the story? How did you get into this subject? How did you end up launching the Jewish Drinking Show? Which, of course, is not just about whiskey. It's about beer and wine and actually all kinds of things to do with mm -hmm. the industry, to do with the experience. And even I know you've had one of our colleagues in to talk about uh, those who need to abstain from alcohol and sort of mm -hmm. the, the sort of awareness of, of supporting people in recovery. And so it's, it's really across the board what you've covered. Uh, so tell us the story. Absolutely. So there's lots of lots of stories, There's little stories as well. I, I will say so back in late 20. 18, I was really thinking I didn't have an outlet for a lot of my textual stuff. Uh, really, uh, some of, one of the things that I enjoy almost most about being a rabbi or uh, was, was really sharing textual thoughts. And so finally, I decided January 1, 2019, I would launch a site where I would share my thoughts on texts of whether it's uh, Talmudic, whether it's Halachic, whether it's Tanakh. I love those, those Jewish texts or certainly those genres of Jewish literature. So I started and I, I published on a fairly re, re, somewhat regular basis. And I finally realized uh, summer 2019, wait a second, I'm really just publishing in three areas. What an opportunity that I lost, especially uh, I would say of those three areas, the one highest was really about drinking in Jewish tradition. And I, I it was a pretty blandly titled website. And, I, you know, I really was just kicking myself. What a lost opportunity until I came across late August 2019, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, who actually, while he is a Jew, I don't think people think of him in Jewish spaces, but I would say he's probably the most famous wine seller, wine merchant in American history. So there's like this Jewish wine uh, connection, but really of niching down. So finally, September 10th, I bought JewishDrinking.com and decided to move a lot of the blog content over. But and even though I initially considered it as really just sharing Jewish content about these items, someone said, look, you, you, like it just became apparent video podcasts really just need to happen, especially to bring on guests who are outside of my area, whether it's history, whether it's Kabbalah, there's lots of things when it relates to Jewish drinking that are way outside of anything that I could share. So that's really how it started. Of course, with anything, there's <laughs> there's a little bit more to the story. I mean, why mm -hmm. did I write those things on, on my textual perspectives, really because I was dissatisfied with the general dis Jewish discourse around drinking, whether biblically, whether Talmudically or onward. So I think it came with a great dissatisfaction around these things that prompted me to really try to inject into a discourse.